What is up, YouTube? On today's video, we're going to be discussing something that is very, very basic. If you are already a licensed hunter, you need not watch this video, unless you just like seeing me. You cannot feel this energy. energy. So, I recently got a comment, I'll post it right here. In this comment, someone wanted to know how to get started hunting. And I thought, you know what? There's a whole lot of information out there, but this person specifically asked me, which means they found my channel and they wanted to know from me. So, they're gonna hear it from me. Now, getting started in hunting is not difficult. It's actually very, very easy to do. Step number one is you need to get yourself into a hunter's education course. To my knowledge, every state in the United States offers a hunter's education course of some sort. Now, this may be an online course where you're on the computer for an hour and a half or two hours, or it could be an in-person course where you're there for a whole day. Sometimes they'll split it up into a couple hours a day for two or three days, or you can opt to do an all day course. My son, who just recently got his hunting license this year, I'm sorry, last year, he did the all day course. I was like, nope, you're gonna sit down, do it all at once, knock it out in one fell swoop, and then we're gonna carry on. The best way to locate these hunting courses is pretty simple, honestly. You can just call your state, wherever you live. You can call their fish and wildlife or their, you know, their game warden, whatever you wanna call it, ranger, and ask them and they'll be able to give you that information. Now, they may only do the course a couple of times a year, um, my state, I think they do my state like every three or four months they have a course. So get into that thing, pay attention, pass the course, and then you're on to the next step. Once you've passed the course, I highly recommend that you familiarize yourself with the regulations for your state. Get yourself a hunting manual like this. These are really easy to come by. You can download them on your phone from your respective state in PDF format, or you can go to a Walmart or your local sporting goods store they should have a copy. The next thing you need to do is read that thing cover to cover and learn the regulations and the uh, dates for the seasons that you're planning on hunting. Learn them and memorize them by heart and then you won't ever have to worry about it again. You just pick one up every season or two, brush up, make sure everything's still good to go. For the most part, the regulations in each state, to my knowledge, stay the same. There may be minute variations, maybe in the day that a season starts. It may vary by a week or two or whatever, but the general regulations stay the same. Equipment requirements stay the same. Uh, camo requirements, orange requirements, all that good stuff, bag sizes, bag limits, that all stuff generally stays the same. Step number three. Once you have passed your Hunter's Ed course and you have read your manuals and you know your regulations, the next step would be to go and get the hunting license that you need to buy that will cover what you are attempting to hunt. In Indiana, we have several different licenses and they're all separate. Some states, I'm sure there are out there where you can buy one license that covers all the animals that you can hunt for the year. God, that would be great in Indiana. They should do that. However, I'm not that blessed. So I have to buy one for turkey. I have to buy one for small game. I have to buy one for deer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. Once you've acquired your license, you're almost done. Then you need to go, using the information that you read in your manual, you need to select a proper equipment and find some place to hunt. Now, not everybody is blessed to have 40 acres out the back door or even a neighbor or family friend who has plenty of land outside. However, that does not mean that you cannot still do this. I am not one of the people who is blessed to have a lot of land at my disposal, or am I? For those of you that don't know, in every state, there is public land that is available for you to hunt. It's not difficult to hunt. It's actually very easy. As a matter of fact, most people that I know live within an hour drive to some place that allows them to In hunt. a nutshell, after you jump through all these hoops, if you live within an hour of, you know, a national forest or a state park, you've got all the hunting land that you need. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of acres out there of public land for you to hunt. And every year, they get more added to Once them. Once you've jumped through all these hoops, you've found a place to hunt, you're ready to rock, man. Lay out there and get it. If you find yourself in a boat where you're like, Mike, man, I'm a brand new hunter. I don't know nothing about this redneck and shit. Well, just do me a solid. Subscribe, scroll through my videos. Should be information there for anybody who wants to learn. So, how to hunt. I hope this helps everybody out. Do me a solid, leave a like, share, subscribe, drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And on that note, peace. Cue the outro.